So your offer has been accepted. What's next? Well, if you've been pre-qualified or have conditional approval, you've done most of the heavy lifting. If not, it's time to select a lender. Could be a bank, credit union, a private mortgage company, or a state or municipal housing agency like the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. Once you've selected a lender, you'll be asked to complete a loan application form, and in some cases, you may be asked to pay a non-refundable application fee. Be aware of all the fees associated with your loan. Once you've made application, your loan officer will review your sales contract. You'll be asked to provide bank statements and information about your job and credit history and other financial information. Your lender will want to know the market value of your new home and will request an appraisal of the property. In most cases, you will be responsible for the cost of the appraisal up front. Your application fee and appraisal fee are typically paid before you close your loan. In some cases, the application fee may include the cost of the appraisal and credit report. You may want to confirm with your lender if these fees are included or being charged separately. Once your appraisal is completed, your lender might require a termite or home inspection before approving your loan. Shortly after you apply for your mortgage loan, you'll receive initial disclosures from your lender, which will list your estimated monthly payment and the total cost of all finance charges involved in your mortgage loan. You've heard the word closing several times in this video. The closing is the last step in getting your mortgage and actually becoming the owner of your new home. Closing or settlement is the legal process of transferring ownership of a home from one person to another. Closing is typically conducted by a closing agent. He or she knows what documents need to be reviewed and will have collected all the necessary paperwork from you, the seller, and the lender. Several things happen at the closing. Terms of the agreement between you and your mortgage lender are confirmed. Your loan goes into effect and you receive your mortgage. What you and the seller agree to in the sales contract is confirmed. Ownership of the home is transferred and funds are transferred. You'll probably see and sign more legal documents at your closing than at any other event in your life. The closing agent will generally be responsible for preparing or ordering all the documents for your closing. However, you are responsible for the following. Your new homeowner's insurance policy and any other required insurance policies you've taken out, like flood insurance, along with proof of payment. A certified check for all remaining closing costs associated with your loan, including the remaining portion of your down payment. You should receive a disclosure statement with an exact figure for all final costs three days before your closing. Fees typical to most closings may include the application and appraisal fees we've discussed if they haven't been paid up front, and you can expect to pay other fees listed in your initial disclosure. At closing, the lender will also collect money to put into your mortgage escrow account. A mortgage escrow account is used by your lender to make payments on your behalf for real estate taxes and premiums for homeowners, mortgage, or other insurance. In order to make these payments, your lender will collect escrow funds as part of your monthly mortgage payment. The escrow portion of your monthly payment can vary from year to year. When your closing is complete, you'll receive signed documents including, but not limited to, a closing disclosure, mortgage note, your formal promise to repay the debt. It also spells out the amount and terms of the loan. The deed of trust gives your lender a claim against the house if you don't live up to the terms of the mortgage note, and the deed conveys ownership of the property from the seller to you as the new owner. So you've signed scores of documents, paid the fees, and closed on your new home. But there are a few important things to remember. Now, as basic as it sounds, make sure you know when your first mortgage payment and all subsequent regular payments are due. I think that covers it. You should now have all the tools you need to prepare for, find, and finance your own home. Should you have any questions, the staff at the West Virginia Housing Development Fund are ready to help. Contact us at 800-933-8511.